Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about LS Retail Mobile Inventory App Solution. LS Mobile Inventory App is a unified solution to manage your inventory in retail stores. This app can be installed in Android based mobile devices like Zebra, Honeywell, DataLogic, Motorola, etc. You can download the latest app from Android App Store or LS Retail Portal. This app is capable of working in online and offline environments. It uses web services to fetch the documents from headquarter or store database server wherever you hosted it. It also holds some data locally inside the st device storage. This app is mainly used for creating and receiving purchase orders, receiving and shipment of sales and transfer orders, inventory adjustments and physically inventory counting. You also can perform item inquiry for inventory availability and price check inside the store. Label printing or label ordering also can be done through this app. Let us have go through one by one in the product. You can download this particular app from the Android App Store. Search for LSTL inventory and download. You also can download the mobile inventory app from the LSTL app portal with the registered user sign in. To the staff list, first where the login staff is created for the mobile inventory app. I used a staff ID of 150, which login ID username, and just show you the information which all information is required. You just need to update the personal information like first name, last name, and which stores it belongs to, user ID. And you also can update the password. And once you update the store, it added as a default store. This particular user ID. Uh, These two setups are many, very important, which is inventory management, uh, inventory menu you need to map, and inventory as active. You also need to install the Omni service in the back office because the mobile inventory app which communicates with the Omni service database uh, using Omni service. The Omni service database will be created in the SQL uh, that will be created by the setup script uh, once you uh, run the setup of LS Omni service or server. So how to download this uh, server setup Omni LS Omni server setup is from the portal. Uh, LS portal with the registered user. You can log into the portal where you can see in the uh, product uh, menu. So, download Omni service. So, you can see LS Omni service 4.10, which is the latest version. You can download it from the download link. Once you download and install, the system will create a service in the Windows services, which is LS Omni Windows service. And it also creates the folder and we have the path where you installed. It have uh, the app setting config file where you, uh, where the system uh, uh, saves the web server address and the login informations. It also have a credential for the LS Omni database, which is created through the setup script. Just close this. You can also view the log. If any error occurs, uh, you can troubleshoot with the log. Once the app is installed, you can open the app. It will have a user ID and password to log in. But there are some settings before you need to operate this. 
you need to update the server information of Omni service. So here I updated the IP address and the service name. You need to also update the store ID and the terminal ID where it belongs to. Some of the other setups are there you can see like language setting you can even update the database you can clear the database if any data is existing in the database you also can see the version list is 4.10 the latest version you can click on a test connection to get a successful reply from the service once this is okay the app is ready to login you can use a user ID and password to log into this particular app. Also, you can synchronize the master before you log in to the app. Once you synchronize, you can see in the status the data is getting synchronized. It will take few minutes to update all the masters like items, barcodes, staff information, menu information, variant if exists and any other informations from the back office server once update it finish it will give or the the, uh, the message will disappear and it will show last updated date and time then you can use your user and id and password to log into the app in this case, in my case, I'll just log in with the uh, user ID 150. There's no password. I'll just click on login. So the app is logged in with the user 150, and you can see the menu list. We'll continue with the example in uh, next slides. I will take you through the available menu options inside the application. So we can see there are uh, quite few menus available. The utility menu where you can uh, view the stores, you can update masters, you can change the stores. There's lookup menu where you can look up item lookup and customer lookup. Uh, there are vendor lookup screens are available where you can query through the items and item information. Is there option of stock management where there are options like you can able to uh, do the adjustments stock counting etc a receiving menu will have the purchasing receiving options or transfer order transfer in receiving options picking menu is transfer out or sales order picking from the store document search ASN menu and advanced shipping documents, unsend document list. You can also view from here. I log into the. Uh, I'll, I'll open the utility menu where I can see the current store information, which uh, uh, this particular device is configured to which store and what is the terminal ID and which user is logged in and what is the URL configuration which I used. And I, I, even from the change store, I can able to change the store on this particular uh, device. It will also prompt uh, if any changes you want to update the masters. Now you can view or you can update the uh, master data from the back office in full master update or differential master update to to the mobile device or application. Once you once the data update is fine uh, or updated, it will also show you uh, the what all data it retrieved from the back office. Here we can view the lookup menu, and we'll check out what all the options are available in lookup menu. I'll just click on the lookup menu, and I can see some of the sub options where I can have the item lookup. Item lookup, quantity by color, quantity by size, customer lookup, and vendor lookup. Let us look at this item lookup. I can look up the item by scanning a barcode or searching by description or searching by item number. 
I can view the information of description, inventory, quantity and PO, quantity and S, sales order, etc. Even I can search this item by description. For instance, I'll just search for this item Linda. I can view all the items which is starting or ending with Linda word and I can view the item for further information. So this is how I can search through the items even I can go and go into the sub menu and do the ordering or check inventory etc. We have the customer lookup where I can search the customer by his name and I can view the information of a customers. Similarly I have a vendor lookup. I can search with the vendor and vendor informations. Stock adjustment. We will see different kinds of options available in stock management. Here there are options like positive adjustments. Positive adjustments can be done using this menu. I can see one kind of uh, options defined which is general positive adjustment. I can open this and I can start scanning and doing the positive adjustments. Negative adjustment using this you can do different kinds of negative adjustments like best before date, damage by customer, damage by staff or stolen. These kinds of uh, options for different types can be defined in back office and store inventory worksheet setup which will be visible in the application. Prepack worksheet can be used for explode prepacks or disassemble your prepacks. Stock counting menu here you can do stock counting or inventory counting. I can see two different kinds of inventory counting options are available. Stock counting is a normal stock counting without the area. Stock counting with area can be used using the areas defined inside the stock or shop floor or a location. These areas will be configured in the LS central back office and that can be visible while you are doing the stock counting with area. A label ordering options. There are two different kinds of label are available. You can define different kinds of labels over here like item or shelf labels. You can select one of this option and scan the items on the shop floor and send the data back to the back office to order the label or print the label. A requisition worksheet will be used to send the requisition or record the requisition whichever you required to be ordered on the shop floor which are out of stock. There are three kinds of options are visible over here. You can define multiple types based on your requirement. I have created a purchase order for example. I took two items in the purchase order. And I will release this particular order which is ready for the sale. We'll go back. We need to create a receiving document which is which can be created from a retail receiving. A retail receiving is a document which we can see in the handle device against which we can receive the purchase order. So every receiving document will have the serial number which is document number. I have selected the purchase order which I am going to receive it. So I will just switch back to the handle device. I can able to view this particular receiving document. In the handle device. The receiving document which we created in the back office will be visible in the receiving menu all, a receive PO and a receive PO all list. I can see all the receiving documents in this list. Our document is document number 12 
I click on this document, I can view the type receive, total quantity to be received and the vendor and expected date details. I'll just open the document and start scanning and update the received quantities. Once I update or finish uh, receiving, uh, just send this details to the back office by clicking at the send option. Once I click on send option, the documents will be sent back with the received quantity information and removed from this list. We will see in the back office how it will be updated and processed further. I have opened the same receiving document in the back office. I can see which are the quantity we have received is updated to that particular quantity. In the second item, you can see the quantity status is not enough. That means I have a short receipt with the difference of one quantity. So I can able to post this order. I just click on closed and click OK. I have a error message or a warning message called update the counting date. So I'll just update the counting date and I will proceed with it. I wanted to close this particular order. Once I receive, the received quantity is updated to that against the purchase order. I will open the same purchase order which I have created. This is the purchase order. I'll just go to navigate and view the reset. I can view the received document with the received quantity. To create the stock requisition, I will click on the stock menu or a stock management menu where I can see the option for requisition worksheet. I will click on requisition worksheet. I can see several other options like uh, general purchase, meat purchase, vegetable purchase, whichever is appropriate, I will select that option. In the general purchase, I just simply uh, scan the item barcode or I can search with item description or item code. I can select the item and I just input the quantity which I wanted to request. Similarly, I will just continue with scanning other items which I found on the shelf which is not available. So I wanted to refill this particular quantity. So I wanted to order this quantity. So once the order is done, I will just send this information to the back office. So this information will be stored in the back office. We will see what will happen in the back office. We have sent the data to the back office from the handled device. I will just search for store inventory worksheet to view this data. Under the purchase section, I can see the general purchasing where I can see two records has received and I did the general to view this data. You can see the two records has received, which we scanned in the handle device. I'll just process this particular journal. Click on process and post. It has given several options like send an email, print or save as, send and print and save or exit. So in this example, what I'll do is I don't want to print any order. I will select the exit option and click OK. The journal is processed for the store number as 0001. I will search for the purchase order list to view the purchase order created by the system. So in the purchase list, you can view the purchase order which is created for those items we have scanned from the handheld device. I can further process this particular order by releasing and printing it and sending it to the vendor. This is how we can do the requisition from handheld device. In the application, to book the negative adjustment, we need to access the stock management menu. I click on the stock management menu where I can see the option of negative adjustment. In the negative adjustment, I have several options. 
like best before date damaged by customer damaged by staff etc i will click on best before date and start scanning the item i found some of the item which i need to or which are expired or i need to book a negative adjustment so i will scan the item of milk and i i found one quantity of uh, milk or one bottle of milk which are expired so i have recorded it in the application once i recorded i will send this information to the back office we will see in the back office how this will be adjusted once i finish sending this data from the application i will just search for store inventory or store inventory worksheet where i can see a negative adjustment section best before date i have one record which i received from the mobile application i'll edit the journal just to verify and confirm this and process once i process this uh, this uh, worksheet will be posted and the adjustment will be done in the ledger from the back of his application we need to create a retail picking so retail picking document will be created to pick an item against transfer outward transfer order so i will create a picking document and i will select the option transfer out create and select the reference location here the reference location is a two location where i'm going to ship the document is created now i'll access this document and scan against this document in the mobile inventory application i have to access a menu a picking menu all uh, to pick the transfer out picking transfer order pick transfer order all create so i can see the document which i created in the back office i just selected document and start scanning the items so either i can search through the description or the scan the barcode which i'm going to pick i will input the quantity two quantity i have picked once you complete you send this information to the back office and in the back office this quantity which i had picked will be updated now here the same document i will open in the back office i can see the quantity which i had picked and i will input the counted date and i will confirm this particular document so just click on confirm click yes and post the transfer shipment now the transfer shipment has posted i i'll open the transfer order which is created by the system and shipped it so this is the transfer order which is created from store 1 to store 2 this is particular item with the quantity 2 i'll just navigate uh, to see the shipment and just click on navigate and see the shipment this is the shipment which i have posted from store 1 inside the mobile inventory application i click on stock management menu i can see a sub menu label ordering i click on label ordering i can see two options right click continuous label you can have any type of label can be configured so i will scan the item on the floor this particular item don't have the label sticked i will order 25 labels because i have 25 stocks and i will send this information to the back office on the store inventory worksheet to view this uh, uh, labels which i have captured from the mobile inventory app so in the label section i can view i have received one record i have requested for 25 quantity of label i'll process this worksheet so worksheet is processed and you can able to print the labels so the label which is which i have request is ready for printing you can see the label printing uh, which has created one uh, record in the shelf label printing area 
from here I can able to print those 25 quantity of labels which I ordered in the mobile application I will just open a stock management menu I'll select the stock counting sub menu I click on stock counting option so I will try to scan all those items which is in my section where I wanted to do a stock counting I will either uh, scan the item or I will search by any item or item number I will count the physical stock available and I will keep on updating it uh, I have updated the quantity for second item once my stock counting is over I will just send this information to the back office in the back office I will search for store inventory worksheet to view the data which I have captured from the mobile inventory app click on the counting section stock counting I can view two records edit the journal to view the record I can see the column quantity calculated which is zero that means no inventory in the system but physically I have received this many quantities for those items so system will adjust a positive adjustment on the document date which have conducted the stock counting I'll process this journal to post the physical inventory count click yes the worksheet for stock counting has compressed and ready to post and the counting worksheet is processed for store s001 I will go back to the retail item list to view the adjustment which is posted by the system. I'll just search for the same item which I have adjusted from the handled. I'll view the ledgers or click on item availability by location. The store which I have adjusted is S0001. I can view the five quantity which is adjusted. This is the same quantity I have counted from the mobile inventory application. This mobile inventory application is easy to configure and operate and more user friendly. Most important, it is integrated and works both online and offline mode. Feel free to send us your queries on our soft corporate email address and telephone number. We'll see you soon in next video with a new topic.